What is up, everyone? We're gonna do a quick little update here. I'm in the uh, garage. It is uh, not too late, but it's night. Nighttime, obviously, on Tuesday. And I was, I've been busy pretty much constantly. I just haven't videoed since uh, last week. I figured I'd catch you up real quick what I've been up to and what I am doing for a majority of this week. Got the Nova old one eye sitting out there. <laughs> the Pacer's way back there, and I'm about to go take it to the gas station because I haven't driven in a while. I'll take you guys with me for the quick ride. Um, we're gonna keep this like real short. I'm talking like under five, six minutes. So you can stick along, stick around if you want. I'm gonna show you real quick. I'm gonna flip around and show you what I've been doing inside the shop. Besides making a terrible mess that you can see. Um, I'm actually trying to kind of get organized and change things up. I've been in the shop for a little while now, getting to work in it, and I kind of see some things that I want to try differently to try to get some organization going, get my flow of the shop a little bit uh, better. I moved the Vidmars over here, and then uh, I also I'll walk over here, put my topper on the workbench. My mom's husband, Bill made this they have the machine shop out there that i've always referenced it's freaking awesome has like this nice little shelf and it's been outside so it's like patinaed and i left it <laughs> we just put some screws through the four by fours and i countersunk them it's got a nice little lip he literally hit this with a measuring tape one time at a barbecue and then like nailed it perfectly i've had this piece for like a year so i just finally put it up thanks bill um he even made it like perfectly measured so that you could get stuff into the uh, into the outlets. It's like he owns a machine shop and has worked there since he was 12 or something. But <laughs> I, I this kind of bothers me like in my OCD brain. Be, like not that I have that brain, but if I did, I would want to put this one in that corner. But obviously it doesn't work like that. So it works for now and I think it's it's actually starting to feel bigger already. So I'm just trying to figure out this section. I think I might put like my fab table and like the welders over here. Um, and then I'm going to also consolidate and kind of figure out a flow for my toolboxes. I think this section on this side of the, the shop has been where I stored the Nova while it was um, you know, not being worked on. And I think what I'm going to do is try to make that side of the shop like where the the Nova will probably live as it's as it's done and I can just move it in and out. And this will be like where the car that's being worked on will be. Um, I also want to move motors. I want this to be like the motor wall. And I, since this has already been fitted for shelving and outside back there, I have a bunch more shelving that they left. Um, quick side note, here goes our five minute video. But the people that originally owned this home were professional archers and they built custom bows out of here so that's why this thing has like all the pegboards has this line that was ran for um air um but it's all corroded i started taking out as you can see it's actually not over here but it's over here started taking out um because it was insanely corroded and i wasn't going to use it anyways because it's not clean air that's just a little side note though so if they're a professional bow people psc archery is actually i think the home home is in here in tucson i don't know you guys might know but back to what i was talking about bull did a lot of stuff um so this was already done so i'm just trying to take advantage of things that were already kind of hooked up and by moving these motors up against that wall and maybe putting them on stands or figuring something out was a little easier to move them around i can put more of these shelves here and use that for like project part storage or whatever I feel is necessary and it'll also allow me access to this pegboard because with the motors here I can't really get to the pegboard and I can start utilizing more of that upward um, storage and continue to organize and try to make that um, efficient. Over here I have another motor that I'm going to try to get to get out of here. I'm going to probably sell it. Um, and I'm going to try to store like the engine stand there, the mop, and then I have like all that stuff, like they can be like drive shafts, etc. So just trying to get a general flow and make things work 
as efficiently as I can for the space that I have. Um, that's just kind of my little message is you may not have the biggest shop and you may not even have a shop. I worked out of a carport for a long time before this. But the important thing to do is to take charge of what you do have, do the best that you can with it, and don't bitch, just build your shit. <laughs> I mean that to be motivational because I built the GTO and a carport that literally had like blacktop and it looked like I like fought a cat every day because I was like almost like bleeding, freaking rolling around under there. I didn't get carpet or anything. I wasn't smart, but <laughs> be smart and, and work wherever you're at. Get it done. Enjoy your hot rod. Get your, get your work going. Um, that's just my quick little update for the garage. Let's go. Let's go take the pacer out. Let's get some. Uh, I'm gonna get Cracker Jacks. <laughs> It's kind of like one of my favorite little snacks. So Cracker Jacks. And then uh, I think the Nova is actually going to stay outside tonight, which is kind of a bummer. But um, I'll pull the pacer up right behind it as a sacrifice. So if anybody messes with anything, hopefully it's the pacer. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've never even driven this car at night. I legit couldn't remember if it had headlights and shit that worked. driven this car since uh we went to the racetrack the last time oh shit let's see if i can one hand this Ugh. oh what a beast i think it's it should be pretty full on fuel Ugh. they don't have e at this station anyways but they do have cracker jacks mother I'm gonna be that dude right now that parks at pump number five and then doesn't get any gas and then just gets Cracker Jacks. Do something about it. Oh, still got the numbers on it too, man. I don't even mess around. Just leave them. Leave them bitches on until the next time. Ugh. Ugh. Put on your seatbelt, kids. Incredibly difficult to drive with one hand. You make karate old man noises, it helps. nothing like driving a turbo car man it'll make you smile i haven't driven that car actually since we went to racetrack so ah, i like it it's fun i can't wait to keep going with it just like all the other stuff that i have going on maybe take the next day or so and clean up the rest of the garage like i want to do continue organizing and then uh i definitely want to get cracked on a gto and um things on the near near horizon are the roll 
bar going into the pacer, the tank. I have to do an, the other tank. You know, I have two tanks, so I'm going to resump the other one the correct way <laughs> and redo some of the fuel lines. Um, and then the very, very new near, near, near future for either this week or next week, um, we're going to get to go over to James's house and check out the L29 build. He's gonna hit us with all kinds of technical information for those of you that are interested in doing a cheap big block build. This is gonna be the series for you to follow. So keep looking forward for that. Um, I'll give you more info or pop a video up as the time comes. Until then though, tomorrow's another day. I'm gonna go smash these Cracker Jacks and look at the internet and upload this video. So I'm out. Peace.